podcast. And today may be a good day to read a comic book because we're going to see some wet weather in and around the Miami Valley. Not a complete washout, but definitely a day that you'll probably need to take the rain gear with you. As we take a look here outside on our Goodwill Easter Seals Tower camera in Trotwood, we have seen some rain in this area earlier. Right now we are looking at a deck of clouds overhead. However, take a look at what happened here in uh, Houston, Texas. Look at this poor car. It got trapped with flooding, massive flooding here. They picked up a, about a foot of rain. Very dangerous situation here for this vehicle. Lots of rescues were taking place as folks were uh, trying to pull over due to the very heavy rain. Speaking of rain, let's go back here at home and we'll take a look here at where the rain is right now. Luckily for folks here in Texas, things have quieted down, but they're still looking at problems with flooding. More showers and storms in the nation's midsection, but back here at home, we're tracking a weak front that is going to continue to advance its way eastward. And today we're going to be pulling up moisture from the south that's going to spark basically scattered showers, maybe an isolated storm come later on this afternoon. There has also been some patchy areas of drizzle and fog that's been a little too light to be detected by the radar here this morning, but we'll see more showers develop as the morning progresses and then again in the afternoon. Severe weather luckily is not expected today, but still it's going to be on and off. So you're going to see some periods today where it's going to be dry and then there's going to be some periods where there's going to be scattered showers. It just kind of depends on where you are and where you're going to be. So if you're thinking about mowing the lawn, for example, whenever it's dry out, that may be your window of opportunity to go out there and work on the grass. Uh, right now it's also uh, 63 in Troy as well as in Springfield, 66 in Springfield. Springboro, you'll also notice the humidity is pretty sticky outside. Right now that dew point's at 64, actual air temperature is 65, so very high humidity at 97%, barely a breeze out there, winds out of the northeast at three miles an hour. If you're trying to decide between today or tomorrow to do your plans, well, really either day it's going to be hit or miss today and tomorrow. Tomorrow there might be a little bit more sunshine, but still temperatures in the mid to upper 70s both days and we're looking at rain for both Saturday, Sunday and still as we go into next week, multiple days here in a row here of wet weather all the way through Thursday. So unfortunately we are looking at a lot of rain. We'll see those showers develop here as the morning progresses. As we go into the afternoon, there may even be some breaks, maybe a rumble or two of thunder later this afternoon. Chances for the rain, even though it's not being depicted by future track very well, do continue through this evening and overnight, but it does quiet down a little bit more overnight. And then tomorrow we may start out dry and then we'll see some scattered showers and maybe a few storms develop once again. Looks like tomorrow may be the better day of the two, but still there's going to be that chance of rain both today and tomorrow. 76 for later on this afternoon, humid conditions with scattered showers and storms. Tonight though, mostly cloudy down to 62 and then tomorrow still a chance of more wet weather with a high of 78. In your extended Storm Team 2 forecast here, we continue with temperatures above average in the 70s and 80s and chances of rain near